Welcome back. Giggs Kole is a young South African artist making waves aboard. Earlier this year, Kole secured a residency in Paris and exhibited at this year's Cannes Film Festival. His star continues to shine on top of securing an exhibition in Monaco for next year's Grand Prix. He has also been named one of the Mail and Guardian's top 200 young South Africans. To talk more on his art and work both abroad and in South Africa, we are now joined by Giggs gigs via Skype. Giggs, good evening and thank you so much for joining us on The Globe. Well, good evening. Thank you for having me. Now, firstly, congratulations on being named one of the Mail and Guardian's top 200 young South Africans. And uh, just uh, talk to us about your journey as a young artist and where exactly it all began. Now, thank you for the honour and thank you to Mail and Guardian and also Kaya Fan for the nomination and as well as the award. So my journey as an artist began in Limpopo. Uh, I was born in Timbisa Township, but then I was raised in Limpopo by my grandmother in Gudubu village. And literally I started creating from a young age at four years old. Uh, we started, um, a lot of village kids will understand that we would go to the river to collect water. And then from collecting water from the river, we collected clay. And then from that clay, we used to make toys and tractors. And from those toys and tractors, um, I didn't understand that, that I was creating art. And also I didn't understand that though that was a part of um, an art practice called ceramics. It was only when I got to primary school um, at Creson Primary, I started doing uh, art lessons. And then when I received a full scholarship to go to St. John's College, which was honestly an honor and a prestigious un um, uh, high school, at St. John's College, I was exposed to obviously the international uh, world and in terms of like, um, the world of Africa and the world of art in terms of in my studies. And then I realized at 16 years old that I have the potential to become one of Africa's number one visual artists. And then when I got to 18 years old, I decided that I actually have the potential to become one of the greatest artists in the world. Um, after I finished high school, I had, um, obviously I had the honor of being an intern for William Kentridge, who's been following my art in high school. And then, um, first year after high school, he asked me to work for him. So I took the opportunity to work for him and understand the industry in South Africa and also internationally. And after six months of working for him, I decided that I was going to quit my job because I realized that that was time for me to then start practicing my own works and telling my story and telling my people's story, especially people from Limpopo. Um, I then, re after having my third solo exhibition at Everard Reed Gallery, I received a full scholarship to study art history at John Cabbage University, which is an international American university in Rome, Italy. And then as I was studying art history in Rome, I realized that black people and also black culture isn't documented in art history. And then that's when I, I knew that I have to then um, encourage the youth, encourage other fellow artists in South Africa and Africa, and also the world that, um, it doesn't matter where you come from, uh, we, we all have a voice and our voice needs to be heard. And especially black culture needs to be heard in art history and documented. Now, Giggs, you also worked with, uh, you know, you, you got, uh, uh, what's the word? You, you worked with uh, Bon Chandiyamba and Ayanda Mabulu, who also sort of influenced the work and direction that you decided to take. How did they influence your work, apart from working with uh, William Kendridge? Uh, well, in terms of them, I think they in influenced me in terms of spiritually and as well as um, mentorship-wise. Because the, the thing I learned from them was be yourself. Understand where you come from in order to understand where you are and in, in order to understand where you're going. The best thing Ayanda um, taught me, he made me realize that, Giggs, you need to realize that you can't have an artist, you can't have a gallery without an artist, but you can have an artist without a gallery. Always remember that you were an artist even before the galleries came. And then every time I got denied by um, galleries internationally and also locally in South Africa on my body of works, I didn't let that put me down or um, dishearten me at all because I always remember that at heart I'm always an artist and that gallery or that specific institution might not understand the vision that I have but I just need to obviously focus and work on what I need to do and then luckily for me I discovered Canvas uh, which is ran by the CEO Noma Zanomula saw that vision 
in 2017. And then she invited me over to France for my second international exhibition. And we had that exhibition in Cannes. And from there, it's magic. <laughs> now, Giggs, how has the reception been uh, to your work and your residency in France so far? So far, they love it. Um, so I've created a, uh, an absolute new technique, a 3D art technique called anaglyphing. So this is one of the artworks here. Um, so it's a mixture of painting, collage, and then when you come to the exhibition, you provide a sort of glasses, anaglyph red and blue glasses. And then when you put, it up, put the glasses on, the paintings come alive. So the people absolutely love like, the journey that I've gone through from growing up in the township of Timbisa, uh, growing up in Limpopo and then obviously going to a prestigious school at St. John's and also studying in Italy and now obviously being a full-time resident with Nomaz and Nongunga here in France uh, with the undis Undiscovered Canvas, which is in the south of France. And what, what, what is an honor about it is that I get to live and um, work in Valeries, which is in the south of in the French Rivera. And this is where Picasso really came to um, refine his um ceramic works so i have the honor of now adding to sort of my many skills and talents learning um ceramics and i think ceramics are very important because um it's works and clay that comes from the earth so and i believe that my works are spiritual in the sense that they connect to every living soul out there from humble beginnings and uh, now up next, next year is the Grand Prix in Monaco. Tell us about your exhibi exhibition that you're working on towards uh, that Grand Prix in Monaco. Well, honestly, with that, everybody has to watch the space. Um, <laughs> we're still working on the finer details, but if you follow Undiscovered Canvas and you follow um, Gigs Holler Art, you guys will find out the journey through, throughout that. Mm -hmm. But the exhibition is definitely going to be big, it's going to be South African, and it's going to be glorious. Mm. You became uh, one of South Africa's youngest gallery owners in 2018. Um, just talk to us about uh, Gazlamb Gallery and what type of space your mind was in when you created it. Okay, so um, I created Gazlamb Gallery after a year of being in Rome, Italy, studying art history. For well, the main reason that I realized that um, I wouldn't have been able to exhibit with um, galleries such as Everard Reed Gallery and as well as the international galleries that I've been working with and uh, be seen by Noma Zanonuga if it wasn't for my first exhibition in uh, the Mall of Africa. Um, but I realized that um, a lot of, there's a lot of talented South African artists out there, especially young black South African artists who are always turned back. And so I wanted to create Gaslamp Gallery for the fact that um, the motto is better, stronger, uh, better, better, stronger, safer. For the fact that we wanted to shine the light on young South African artists um, to have a platform to show their work so that they can be better, they can be stronger in terms of their narratives, and they can make their communities and environments safer through the narratives that they tell. And now, uh, finally, just in wrapping up, what message would you say you want other young artists to take away from your story so far? Work hard, believe in yourself, and trust in the process. It's going to be difficult. The world's going to tell you no. You're going to feel like you're not worthy enough. Know that you're a king, you're queens. We all, we all have a piece of God in ourselves. Know that we're godly. And trust that. Trust in the process. Gigs. Again, congratulations and all the best. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We'll leave it there for now. That is Gigs Khole, a young South African artist making waves abroad.